Hello guys, good day to all of you. Um, today I'm going to, to demonstrate on how to paint a simple landscape painting with with a fire tree using acrylic. So first of all, I, I would like to introduce to you my my materials. I have here my my paint palette. Um, I have I have um, the titanium white, the tallow blue. The medium yellow, the brilliant red, the the lamp black, and the burnt sienna. And this will be my brushes that I'm going to use in this tutorial. I have here the the flat one inch brush, um, flat uh, small number two brush, the number four flat flat brush number six flat brush and I have the number one flat brush and the uh, number twelve uh, round pointed brush and the number one uh, number zero um, round pointed brush for my details and first I'm going to sketch for the painting so I start with start with the uh okay let's start with the sketching guys I'm going to use the burnt shena I'm going to add some water a little water to make it more fluid okay so I'm going to plan for um, a small uh, some some grassland here, some small grassland. So I'm going to put here the the fire tree. So I'm gonna I I don't I don't have to to sketch it here because. I didn't want to spoil some some um, paints on my backgrounds, so we we'll, maybe we'll, later we're going to just add the, the tree here, the fire tree. Okay, so I'm going to add the mountains. I want the mountains to be pointed, like most mountains I saw on TV. So maybe here I'm going to add the uh, the fire tree. Okay, so our landscape will be very very simple with one subject like the fire tree. Okay. After that, I'm going to clean the water, my brush in the water. Okay, using the one inch flat brush. I'm going to mix for the for the sky so blue and white blue and white a uh, uh, tiny amount of blue or a little amount of blue with with lots of white okay remember guys to start with the the farthest elements or the objects on your painting like the sky then to the mountains then to the nearest object okay so let's add more white more white here more white on the bottom of the of our sky okay just blend it well you can add water to make it more fluid okay mm. 
Please follow me guys. Okay. Remember guys to practice blending. That is one of the most important factor um, in achieving a good result in in painting. Okay. So just blend it well. You can use a bigger flat brush guys to make it more uh, smooth or to make it more faster. And the bottom should be lighter than the than the top. Well, you can observe the sky if you want. You just add more white here at the bottom. You can add another layer later if you want to make it more solid so it's all up to you okay so we are almost done with the clouds or the mountains so maybe we can we just let it dry for at least um two minutes or or five minutes so that um can can add the clouds um more more detailed and much more easier um we're going to put first the the mountains here before we're gonna add the clouds so we're gonna mix for the mountains so just use blue and black more black i want it to be more gray as blue okay and white more black and white to make it lighter okay so I'm gonna just apply it directly okay. I will just uh, fill this part with a bluish gray color and I'm going to add the details later and if ever I'll just add um, I think a second coat or second layer to make it more solid I want I want it to be more um, gray so I'm going to add more black and white Add a little blue and white and water. Okay, just follow what I did on the video on the screen. Remember, guys, that you can use um, a bigger flat brush to make your work faster. I remember the time when I was started to paint my mountains were really dark and you can't really distinguish and it's really really bad as a self-taught artist all I had to do is to practice more every day so that I can I can achieve um, the, the looks of what I really want on, on the painting so just keep practicing if you want to make um, if your paint is really heavy or sticky just add um, water to make it more fluid okay we're almost done with the with our mountains another set of color it's okay guys if the color you mix doesn't match on the first you had mixed as long as the tone is the same so just blend it well so that the color is not so visible or the difference is not so visible uh, remember guys that these are just the the best colors 
or the first coats so maybe if we need to to add more layers later we can we have to do it to make a um, very smooth or very solid um, painting okay I think we are almost done with our mountains want to add more okay Okay, so I'm going to add um, the the grassland here. So maybe later we're going to add the uh, details on our on our on our um, skies and mountains. Okay, guys, I'm going to mix for the for a glass here so again just use blue yellow and red guys red the red will be will make the color uh, more mature uh, I don't like to 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 put a uh, pure green it's not really good or it's not really uh, in my opinion so I'm going to use this kind of green with white it look like an apple green but more dirty dirty you look at it okay and anyway, guys that these are just the base colors so or the first coat so maybe we can add um, a little more coat later to make it more solid Okay. Okay. This is just a very simple landscape painting, and it's very good for the beginners. So I find uh, for a beginner, so yeah, maybe you you'll have to try this one. Okay, so again, the, we have the green color now. Okay, let's so apply it carefully. Okay. are just the uh, base colors guys so maybe I'll just add more details later and the last part here I'm going to add more on the background the, the first cut here so I'm going to make it lighter again the blue and the, ye the yellow then blue little blue then white Can add uh, some some textures and the uh, grasses. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to add the darker color here blue and yellow and red okay and blue Okay. Another 
another mix and red and yellow more red so these are just the the first cut guys so maybe we'll need to add um, more coats later or maybe we don't need to okay okay I think uh, we have almost done with our uh, we are done with our this color so I think I'm gonna add um, the clouds or uh, details in our clouds so I'm gonna use this flat brush for our clouds I'm going to make some bluish gray um, blue and black and white okay I'm going to apply it carefully um, directly here it's very dark so I'm going to add more white okay I'm going to create a zero cumulus clouds like um, no I think it's a cumulonimbus clouds as I recall on my grade school science class so guys um, again just follow what I'm doing here okay Okay, it will be very very big clouds. And I'm going to add the highlights. It's just the pure white. So this is how you you should do it. So just follow guys. Okay. okay just play with the gray guys the, uh, can you can add it um on any part of the uh, or in the dark part on the shaded part so I think that's what we are the, the, the perfect term and we have the highlights here yeah this will be a very pretty um, cumulus clouds zero cumulus oh no cumulonimbus clouds and you don't, you don't have to make it more uh, fine because we're gonna <laughs> add the tree here so maybe we, the tree will cover this part <laughs> so I think we're gonna put some clouds here yeah I forget the tree will cover this part so that's um, not good <laughs> if we add more detail cloud on that on this area so if you're gonna make your own landscape guys you should plan first where you are gonna put some the clouds the trees or other elements of the painting so that you will know what to cover or what to what to add when you're gonna uh, when you're finishing the painting so it's very important guys okay 
Okay. It's gonna be a very cloudy day. No more details in our clouds here. Okay. Okay, I think that uh, might be a uh, better clause we yeah. have. So, I'm going to add some details on our uh, mountains. So, I'm going to I'm gonna need to use the smaller brush. This flat pressure. Okay. So again, the gonna mix the blue and black and white. I'm going to add more white. Okay. Apply it carefully. Let's assume that this is a rocky, snowy mountains. Okay. Just follow my strokes, guys. If you can observe my strokes, I did it. Uh, Uh, short strokes and I am really careful with it so uh, just follow what I did what I'm doing right now okay Add more um, highlights. This part. And I'm going to add a little uh, some details on the on the dark part. So same thing. I'm going to use the col same color, but darker. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use the pure white here. Adding more pure white. It looks like um snow mountains now so I guess that's really uh, what I'm doing here so just follow guys it's just like uh, on western mountains you know and or Canadian mountains I guess <laughs> uh, we don't really have mountains like this here in the Philippines so that's why I'm guessing uh, okay just blend it well going to add a little highlights in this part with the same color that they're going to use that we are using Anyway, we'll just uh, maybe we we'll just cover this part when we add the the three the okay. 
the big um, fire tree okay maybe we'll just add more details later if we just we finish adding the, the fire tree okay guys we are almost done with our details so I'm gonna need um, to put some fires on this part that must be a very nice idea okay again I'm gonna mix the the darker bluish gray if you the the black and the blue and we'll add the white okay this will be a nearest forest so remember the role of perspective guys the farther the lighter and it will be more bluish so the farther will be add just add uh, white or or bluish gray to make it look like um, far so that's how you do the perspective on, on landscape okay We need to add some details um, on this um, first. So I'm going to use the blue. Okay. And yellow. and white I'm gonna add a little green for it and more blue it's far so it should be bluish or grayish I think I'm gonna add more blue ok guys I'm using the um, medium flat brush and carefully tap it on the on the forest to make um, tex textures on the textures on the on the leaves or just follow what I'm doing right now so remember guys to practice with your brush on how you hold it and how you tap on tap on it on the canvas on what kind of of, of bristle you have or what kind of brush so just practice what it can what you, what it can create okay I think that's um that's fine going to have some a little retouch on the mountains okay same color blue and white and black so I'll just add uh, highlights on this part um, it should be look more snowy so okay again just follow me guys okay going to make it uh, to add a uh, good blending of colors this will be some some diffuse reflections or some bouncing lights 
so I just I just add a little uh, light here that will be that will work I'm going to add more white as the highlights of the snowy mountains Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna add more uh, a little details in this part. Adding more white. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going to add um, some details on this um, area, the grassland. So using the um, one inch flat brush, let's mix for the light colors. I'm going to add the, the highlights now. So yellow, blue and white, a little red. white a yellow white to add more blue white again okay so going to add a quick uh, downward strokes uh, like um, I'm tapping uh, carefully on the using the tip of the brush. Okay. So everything, guys, is uh, will re re rely on the on the on the on the tip of your brush. So you have to to practice uh, using your brushes, your available brushes, so that you will know how to use it. So you, the experience will always um, teach you how to to use the proper brush. So like what like what I did. The texture of the grasses will always depend on the kind of brush you are using so you should uh, look for the bristle with the for the brushes with bristles or f or the flat brushes with irregular or distorted bristle okay so we have now a really nice detailed of uh, grassland so I'm gonna put it here also I want it to be much more darker. So using bluish and yellow to blue. This time the color is much more darker than the other one. Then the and then the right side part. Okay. Going to add some highlights. Okay. 
so just observe what uh, uh, how I did it or okay I think that's better now so I'm gonna add the uh, So again the light green with a little red Add it here So I'm still using the same kind of brush Okay guys, same strokes but bigger Look at my stroke, guys. The nearer, the bigger, according to perspective. Okay. I think we are done with the grasses. So, okay. I'm gonna add a little more here, more, more texture, more details. Okay, this one is lighter. I'm gonna add it here. I'll keep adding until it will look more grass. Okay, I think that's uh, really nice. So I'm planning to add the fire tree here. This will be a very big uh, red tree that will cover the clouds. So that will be my plan. Thanks again guys for watching and please subscribe for more videos in the future. And visit www.gmlisondra.com for more paintings. Okay guys, so I'm going to add um, the fire tree here. In this part, this will be a very big fire tree. Okay, so I'm gonna use the small brush. I'm gonna use this um, number one um, flat brush, but you can use a round brush. Also, number one, number two, that's fine. Okay, using the burn chain now. And a little blue to make it darker. You can use black for the burn chain now. Okay. I'm gonna put it here. It's gonna be a very big fire tree. The only tree that is not burning. Okay. I think I'm gonna use a bigger brush to make it uh, faster. I'm gonna use this uh, round pointed brush. Use 
you can use the same brush guys if you want but um i'm just using a bigger brush to make uh, to make it more faster to make it faster okay make sure that 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 the base should be bigger than the tip or the uh, the top of the branches so i'm gonna make this branch smaller than the base so as you observe on the trees guys Okay. Gonna be a very big fire tree. I'm using the tip of the brass to make a very nice. Uh, very pointed or very thin lines you can use a smaller on uh, flat uh, smaller round brush on this job uh, maybe na number zero or number one because it's very crucial when it comes to the very thin lines or thin strokes you might um, you might uh, apply it wrong okay Add more one branch here. Okay. I think it's time to add the 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 leaves, guys. So. Again, using this um, one inch flat brush, I'm going to add the leaves of the fire tree. I'm gonna add the dark color first. So, here the blue, the black, or the red, and the yellow. Add a little red. You guys just follow what I'm doing here so just um, apply it carefully tap it carefully like you see on the screen or in, in your on your monitor so good like this I'm gonna cover the beautiful clouds <laughs> And add more yellow. Okay. So remember, guys, not to cover it all, uh, leave some spaces. Okay. Okay. I want the color to be um, darker, so I'm gonna add the burn shena and red and blue and apply it directly. The darker, the better. So, but don't add black. I think that's cover everything here and the last part of this tree is going to gonna add the flowers of this fire tree so I'm gonna use the red
you guys um, um using this um a medium flat brush and a pure red I'm going to use the pure red here I'm going to add the uh, flowers fire trees have lots of flowers so I'm going to put more so what I am I've observed on a real uh, fire tree so guys again just follow what I'm doing here this is gonna be a really beautiful burning fire tree Later, I'm gonna add uh, the highlights of these uh, flowers. It should be um, something like orange or yellowish. So, guys, always remember to practice with your brush. You should practice um, how you can achieve uh, a result using that kind of brush or the stroke that you are making. So that's very important and one factor in your improvement. So you need to keep doing it every day. That's what I'm doing it for almost 16 years now. So again guys, um, just follow what I'm doing here. Every strokes, just observe it and you can learn. want this to have lots of flowers acrylic is my first medium when, when I was starting to paint started to paint so it's uh, really good for a beginners if you are because it dries fast all you have to do is add and add more layers and enjoy just enjoy adding layers you don't have to wait to dry because it dries really fast okay and I'm gonna add a little or some fallen flowers in the ground it will also add um, effect on our painting it's really nice to see some flowers on a green grasses okay if you like my video guys please click like um, comment or subscribe or share it to your friends who wants to learn painting too okay okay guys i'm going to add the highlights on the on the flowers so just mix i just mix the yellow and the red to make it um, orange and a little white to make it lighter and I'm going to directly apply it here okay So the red guys are just it's just the the base color. I think I am painting a really nice fire tree here and I really like it. 
hope you like it too you observe guys that I am always using a limited colors like the red the the brilliant red the tallow blue the medium yellow and black and white and with the exception of burn Sena because I want you to to learn how to mix guys how to use the palette with the primary color so that's pretty good in learning on how to mix the colors and you should always practice mixing the paints the primary paints so that you will know what color you are going to mix if you want to achieve such such color you want you can add more okay so you can add um, some also the highlights and the the fallen flowers in the ground and before we forget we need to add the the shadows on the ground so I'm gonna use the the red uh, the, no, no, no the blue the yellow and the black So since the light is coming from the from our left side, so we're gonna add a shadow on the on our right side. The cast shadow guys should be darker. So if it's a uh, green or a light green or yellow green, uh, you can use a darker green for it. Okay, I think that's. And I'm gonna add some more details on on, on the on the on the trunk. So I'm gonna use the smaller brush. I use this brush. So I'm gonna mix. Um, you can use the orange. Do you have mix for the highlights of the flowers and uh, black with lots of white okay that's good this will be the highlights of the tree trunk so just follow right, more here so just follow what I did here guys the way I I do the strokes more highlights if you like my video please subscribe like comment or share it with your friends who wants to learn how to paint I'm adding a little highlights here some some of the sunlight uh, on the other part of the trunks I think I am done with the, the flowers so uh, I'm thinking of adding some highlights on the on the leaves okay so we're going to mix paint for it just use the yellow and the blue with a little red and white more yellow then add a little highlights in the leaves just little not all of it Uh, I think I'm gonna add some pathway here to to add some more elements on our painting so I'm gonna use the same small brush and 
I think I'm gonna use the same color that we have the highlights so again the orange uh, red the yellow little black and more white so I think I'm gonna add it here Okay hey guys, I'll just make a line here. It's a very small line because it is very far until it will become bigger uh, according to the the perspective. Okay. Okay. So just carefully add the strokes or apply it here. Okay. So always consider the perspective, guys. Um, the 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 farther, the smaller. The nearer, the bigger. Of course. Okay. I think that's good. I'm gonna add some shadows or shades and the the pathway, of course. So I, I want it to be bluish and a bit black and a little red. That's blue. This will be the casted shadows of the grasses. So, the as you will see that it has a very long, tiny, tiny horizontal strokes. So that that's the shadows of the of the grasses okay okay I think that's enough okay, I'm gonna add little here and that will be perfect I think I am done guys so again thank you so much for watching or following my tutorials so if you like if you like my 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 paintings please click like comment or subscribe on my on my channel or if you have done the tutorial please share it with me you can upload it to my facebook page my twitter or even on my website i will be glad to see it guys thank you so much so have a nice day guys and again thank you for watching